sports fans and football fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And if you recall, I did a video where I showed you the 2020 football set quarterbacks, defenses, and a little bit of the special teams. So today's video, in today's video, I'm going to show you the running backs and receivers. Uh, some of the better running backs and receiver cards in the 2020 Stratomatic football set. So we'll get right into it. Let's start with the running backs. Now, uh, one of the running backs we're going to start with is a guy who um, actually was a running back but caught a lot of passes too. So he will have a good card for both, and that is... Elvin Kamara of the Saints. There is his running back card. And of course, for any of these that you, you want to take a better look at or a longer look at, you can certainly just stop the video and then move ahead. But there's his running back card. But check this out. He also caught 83 passes for a long of 52. So there's his receiving card. So the man is multi-talented, of course, that doesn't come as a shock, certainly not to Saints fans, and really shouldn't come as a shock to anybody who's a fan of football. Now, when you're going to talk running backs, you have to talk the granddaddy of all running backs, the greatest running back that plays right now, and that's Derrick Henry of the Titans. And there's his card. Um, you can see his statistics right there at the bottom of the card. The man ran for uh, 2,027 yards. Remember when that was quite a thing when OJ did it? Ran for over 2,000 yards. And his long was 94, and he had 18 touchdowns. Uh, another one, a couple steps down from Derrick Henry, uh, but still, he rushed for 1,065 yards and 12 touchdowns, and that is Nick Chubb. So there's Nick Chubb's rushing card for the... Cleveland Browns last year, helping out uh, Baker Mayfield, who definitely needs the help. So that's a, that's a pretty good card right there. And uh, finally, for the running backs that we're going to look at today, you've got a man who rushed uh, 312 times for 1,557 yards and a five-yard average, and that is... Delvin Cook of the Minnesota Vikings. And there's his card, and there's his statistics across the bottom. Now, of course, you know, he's, uh, I mean, he's really, again, he helps out um, uh, Kirk Cousins quite a bit. And he, again, needs it. So now we're going to get into the receivers. And of course, when you're talking to receivers, you got to talk the receiver of all receivers. In my opinion, he caught 87 passes for 1,276 yards and 15 touchdowns. And that would be Tyreek Hill. Now, you know, when you have uh, Patrick Mahomes passing to you, it's easy to have a great looking card. But this is really a great receivers card right here and I will leave that up for another couple seconds so you can get a good look at that card and if you recall I played this I replayed the Super Bowl Tyreek Hill had I believe quite a few uh, pass receptions in that game the next guy we're going to look at is Justin Jefferson who caught for 1400 yards for the uh, Minnesota Vikings. That's a good card right there. Uh, I would put it almost on the level of Tyreek's, at, at least for, you know, almost for the number of times that he can catch it or that he's got that he can catch it on, on his card, especially in the long pass column. But uh, Tyreek's probably got bigger yardage gains. The next guy we're going to look at is... DeAndre Hopkins, who was really good with the Texans and continued that when he went to Arizona 
um, and was catching passes out there in the desert from Kyler Murray. So, yeah, he has a good card. Again, not quite on the level of Tyreek, but, you know, it's a good card. The next one we have, and that is going to be a Mike Evans. Of course, Mike Evans, you got to put a Tom Brady receiver on this list because this is a good reception card right here. Again, a reminder, I did replay last year's Super Bowl, which involved Tampa Bay and Kansas City, and I believe he got quite a few receptions in that game. Uh, and then we are going to look at uh, Jarvis Landry of Cleveland, 943 receiving yards last year. Good card, not quite as good on the long pass as uh, some of the other guys, but on the flat and the short, very good card. So take, take a quick look at that. And then... Finally, we got to look at a tight end, and this one, the best tight end probably in football, and that is Travis Kelsey of the Kansas City Chiefs. Again, he is a receiver for Patrick Mahomes, so if you're a receiver on the Kansas City Chiefs, it's a good bet you're going to have a good card, and this is possibly the best tight end card in the set in the 2020 set, and he is similarly the best tight end in football right now, and that is my look at the receivers and running backs. What did you guys think? But enough about me. I hope this hasn't been boring for you. It's just that whenever I start to talk about Lane, I always get so carried away. I lose all track of time. Has anybody gone out and got the set? Since I introduced the, uh, the, the set before with the quarterbacks and the um, special teams and the defenses, I'd love to know what you guys think of the set, if you've gone out and gotten it. Um, or really the computer game. I mean, I don't have the computer 2020 uh, uh, teams. I have just the cards because I'm going to do uh, many uh, games from the 2020 season. So uh, I got the cards, uh, but not the computer game. Of course, the computer game will play the super advanced or advanced or whatever you want to do. And you don't have to actually, um, you know, make any adjustments yourself. You just have to set it to do that. Um, but you do do that in the, uh, in the, uh, when you play card and dice. So, uh, yeah, leave your uh, uh, comments below. Give me a thumbs up for the video if you liked it. Anything else you would like to see, let me know. But for right now, that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.